Okay, okay. I, I wish that prison, uh, the previous talk would have mentioned the FPGA, so that would have been, you know, been part of the FPGA club, I would call it. <laughs> uh, so if you don't know me, uh, my name is Brahim. So uh, this is just not really a talk, but it's just to introduce uh, some little uh, FPGA synthesizer that we've been building. So I'm part of Hackerware. I'm also part of the uh, Synth Commune in Singapore. So just to present Synth Commune is a kind of group of guys uh, making music. And then as I join, uh, or maybe before me also, some of us are also interested in electronics. So every month we are meeting in Tangling uh, CC. Uh, and then we are basically having those kind of soldering session. Uh, and then some people uh, suggested that we would do this little FM synthesizer. So uh, we bought the component. Uh, someone on the internet made the PCB. So I just uh, uploaded the files to the PCB way or one of the Chinese the websites. And then I got the, that quickly back. Uh, we bought those uh, FPGA. So this one is not a lattice. It's a Xilinx uh, Arctic 735T. Uh, and then we buy this uh, little DAC. Uh, we bought 15 of them. I think it's about like a dollar thirty, uh, quite cheap MIDI interface, uh, optocoupler, and then EE prom to save the the parameters. So this is a guy who who developed this uh, kind of synthesizer uh, on the FPGA and provide the binary file that we flash uh, with a, a bit loader or or some of the digitant um, tool. Uh, so it's actually quite a powerful uh, sixty four voice uh, two parts uh, six operator FM. So it kind of emulates some of these uh, Yamaha uh, double uh, YM uh, chips like OPL that you mentioned. OPL, yeah. Yes, uh, OPL. Uh, but it has also quite some uh, some, some uh, resources available. So he added some uh, I think reverb and effects. So we built these uh, uh, quite quite to be quite really. Actually, this one doesn't work yet. So I need some debugging uh, to do. Uh, but uh, a piece of of of, of synthesizer like this basically cost uh, $140 for the FPGA. So that's more or less the most expensive thing. I mean, compared to the 27 euro of yours, I'm not too sure it's kind of resources. <laughs> the rest is really like few components from uh, uh, from uh, yeah, yeah, Element 14 or Taobao, I think one of the guys uh, already is. Uh, and so you have the standard uh, opto isolation for the MIDI, and then the MIDI is fed as a UR to the FPGA. And then FPGA send the, the the signals to the DAC, and then you're supposed to have uh, some sound. So this is more or less to to try to introduce this kind of uh, uh, activity, uh, which will be also demonstrated in July. So in July we will do our second FPGA day, uh, probably towards the end of July. Uh, we did the first one a long time ago. I'm not too sure was it this year or last year. I can't remember. But basically, uh, uh, some of, of our friends came also with a Mr. FPGA to demonstrate. So um, we are doing this in July so that uh, Adnan and all these other guys who are part of also participating, uh, everybody would be kind of present. Some some people are also on holiday. Um, and then we'll try to, like I said, demonstrate like FPGA for sound, FPGA for ar arcade, uh, even like console, you know, audio, video, whatever you, you want you know, some of your FPGA to, to do. Uh, so this is just to, to show that, you know, uh, we can easily uh, basically um, uh, um, use this kind of FPGA to do some, uh, some, some synthesis. The, the features are quite, quite advanced. I felt like actually from a, from a, a point of view of, of, of development, of course, it's only a bit stream. We just load, load this, but the, you know, the schematics is quite, quite simple. And the, uh, you know what I like also is you know, like you know you things are basically provided on internet for for free. You can share, you know you can uh, ideally you sold and then it all works. Of course, there's a bit more bit more debugging to do, uh, hopefully. Uh, this guy actually had this uh, uh, FM synthesizer, but in the previous version, uh, I'm not too sure what is it on his webpage. He also had a, a virtual analog um, virtual analog one so. You can also flash that FPGA with a different model of a synthesizer. And uh, so you basically get two synthesizers for the price of one when you basically flash it and then you, and everything is, uh, uh, um, all the parameters are, are basically editable by a system exclusive or some tool that you basically put in your app. 
So yeah, just to announce this you know, FPGA event in July, uh, it will be most likely a Saturday. Uh, usually we meet at the uh, Hackerspace uh, yeah, in the morning and we have some pizza and we have some talk by, you know, if you want to present specific aspect of FPGA or, or your development. And then later on, we just you know, play around and have a kind of showcase. Uh, this is to try to, yeah, to promote FPGA in a sense in Singapore. It's quite of a niche kind of area. Uh, it's not always accessible, but the tools are also kind of free now. So it's not, uh, of course, the FPGA are not, not that cheap, but, uh, you know, that's the, that's my little five minutes FPGA uh, sharing. Yes. Okay. Thank you much.